Hello, this is Ramp Kid, and um, I'm just here to demonstrate the GameCube Backup Launcher. Now, if you uh, saw my blog at the rantkid.blogspot.com, I go through and, and show you a little bit about the multi-game ISO creator that you can then launch with the GameCube Backup Launcher. So, after bringing game, as you can see here, I have um, the three games that I put on it. And notice that I have a check mark next to Batman and an X next to Alien Hominid. Um, not all games will work. So as you can see, Alien Hominid does not work, but Batman Vengeance does. I've tested it. So we're going to go ahead, pop that in, and we're going to boot up uh, that game. So here we are going to launch the homebrew channel. Now it is kind of a hassle because it sucks using the GameCube controller to navigate through the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, the GameCube is now plugged in. As you can see, I have the stylish GameCube controller. All right, so using the GameCube controller, I'm going to navigate to my the top one right up there, GameCube Backup Launcher. Um, that MIOS patcher down below that actually comes should come with the Backup Launcher. You have to install that patch before using the Backup Launcher. But you can get more information on that elsewhere. So I'm going to launch the backup launcher. Load it. And uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but the disk started spinning right when I started this up. And now it reads the games that I have. So we said that Alien Hominid does not work, but you can just, pressing left and right on the D-pad, you can switch in between my three games right here. Notice that X, Y, A, B, Start, they all have different functions. The best one to do is A, because it just auto-detects um, your version, whether it's PAL, JAP, or uh, USA. So I'm going to go ahead and press A for auto-detect. Oh, nope, I'm an alien hominoid. That's not going to work. Go with Batman Vengeance. Let's start that up. And fast load. Takes no time at all. So everything works pretty well. Um, for those of you that don't know, you have to use a memory card to save the games. It won't save to the hard drive, which sucks. Because every time you go to use the backup launcher, it fails because you have to take out your the Wii backup launcher, I mean, the original, to launch the Wii games. You have to take out the memory card because it won't work if it's in. So it's kind of uh, redundant to go and inconvenient to take out the memory card put it back in. But anyway, it works perfectly. So it doesn't lag at all. I've tested it all out. Um, the only thing that I would like to see from Wii Gator is the channel, so I don't have to go through the back of launcher. But this is living proof that it works very well. And uh, read my blog for more information on how to do it. Thank you.